what up this is heavy with another heavy thought and if you have not subscribed to bgs it more please go subscribe to bgs it more great channel love listening to the guy i don't know why people want to well i do know why people want to argue with him because they're not humble enough to sit down and listen because everybody has a unique perspective that they have to give especially if they've been if you know they've been working on themselves and attempting to share their wisdom with us it's, He's had tons of life experiences, tons of opportunities to learn and study and sharpen his skills. Um, and and he, we're lucky enough for him to share you know, his wisdom and knowledge with us. So um, take a listen to what he said here because I couldn't agree more. Take a listen. Most of your women are not trying to speak life into you. She's trying to keep you under, and she's trying to keep you under her thumb, under her foot and, and under her skirts. She's trying to keep you under her, okay? If you're with her, everybody assumes that you're under a woman, right? And all the other cultures, basically, a woman got to get under a man. Don't. It's not that way in Edo's culture, right? I don't care if you, if you bought the house and you paid for it and you paying all the goddamn bills. When everybody walks in, it's her, her, her fucking house. She might not even be your wife, but it's her house when, when, when they walk in. Your girlfriend try, try to walk in, try to claim your house, try to try to remake your house. Okay, she might not even live there. She's trying to remake your house in, in, into into her nest. I've I've heard that, I've seen that. And every dude I know that, that dated the chick, you dated for, dated for more than a month. She's trying to remake your house into her nest. Okay. Wow, I don't know how. People would say this is not true unless they want to be like FD signifier. Now, he definitely will probably um, try to find something to disagree with here. But BGS seems to be on point right here. I mean, Tanya TKO did everything that BGS said without anybody prompting her. Um, Oh, glory or whatever our flag is called. He got his books on the side, his gray beard. Right? Does this, he has up a Batman bust in the background. Does this look like a place that has a woman's touch? Tanya Smart, she understands what is going on. She says this man has not allowed a woman to mark her territory. That's what it's all about. I am not going to advise women to deal with a man, to listen to a man who has not allowed a woman to make her mark, to nest, as BGS says. That's what she's doing. She's marking her territory so she can nest. That's what's going on when they come in and redirect your stuff. She's asserting her power. And Tanya TKO is saying, hey, women, don't you listen to no man that won't allow a woman to come in and take over. Right? That nesting, the, the rearranging of your area to where none of your personality is anywhere, that's a woman asserting her power and taking over, marking her territory. That's why Tanya TKO is pointing out, hey, look at what's in the back. No woman has made her mark or put her touch on it, right? So what? Does I'll... this look like a man who has a functioning, healthy union with a woman behind the scene? See, she's using what he has decorated to say, that he does not have a functioning relationship with a woman behind the scenes. Oh yeah, she's saying that's what a functioning relationship is, one where a woman has come in and made her mark on the man. That's what a functioning relationship is. That's what she's saying. And he clearly doesn't have a functioning relationship, which means a woman has asserted her dominance over his space. That's what a functioning relationship is to TK, uh, Tanya TKO. Because a woman will not allow a man to have his own space, have his things the way he wants. A, a real woman in a real relationship will take over, mark her territory and ensure that when someone sees that spot, they see her because that is her space. She has taken over. So she's telling her audience, hey, if a woman has not been able to take over this space, that's not a man you want to talk to because he's going to have boundaries. He's going to have expectations. Right, he's gonna want to assert his um, 
assertiveness, his dominance over his space. And if a woman has not taken over, has not dominated him, that's not somebody you should listen to, right? That's what that says. Because that man has to allow her to take over, right? That's the type of relationship that Tanya TKO suggests women should be in. And you should listen to a man that has been broken down that way. Because then you can come in and live the life that you want to live as a female. But if a man has not allowed a woman to do that, then that is not a man you should listen to. I understand he may have his little area of which he has gone to decorate, but why put up two of your stockings in the background, sir? Why These not? little cheap Dollar Tree stockings with no glitter, no nothing on them. Not I'm trying to... So she's saying it's on her own. It, it has to have a lot of validity to it. A lot of relevance came from BGS on this topic where in the ADOS, FBA, African-American community, if someone is in a relationship with a woman, if a man is in a relationship with a woman, everything of value is considered hers first. If she lives with you and she's just her girlfriend, like BGS said, it becomes your house. That's what Tanya TKO was saying. Like, why should women listen to this man if he has not allowed a woman to come in and nest, as BGS said, right? Because that's what is happening. And black men are supposed to shut up and allow that to happen. And his willingness to allow this to happen visually, physically in his house and other people can see signals to other black women that, hey, she has nested. She has took ownership of this space. It is now hers. You will address this place as hers and anything that resembles a man resembles something that a woman should not touch right? anybody that's independent any man especially a black man that is independent enough to decorate his own place nicely is not something a woman should aspire for because maybe he'll put up some type of resistance maybe he has boundaries you know him putting up what he likes shows he has boundaries that He's confident enough to decorate the way he sees fit. He doesn't need a third party coming in and saying, no, we need to move it here, this there, right there, add this, take that out. No. As a woman, you can't see that as something of value. You are supposed to see that as somebody you should not talk to because he has not allowed the woman to take over because that's what black men should do, bow down and allow others to take over it's negative the the bachelor pad look is bad the female touch is good right that's clearly what is happening here that bgs is calling out that she's nesting and black men are just supposed to step back and be under notice the word choice under a female so Let's listen to what Tanya TKO said on Keep It 100's channel. Now, let's listen to BGS. If you haven't subscribed to BGS, go subscribe. I know I keep saying it, but go subscribe. 